Welcome yet to another episode, epic episode, Mortar Archery's bow videos. And today we do a comparison of three short Sipahi or Turkish bows. These three we will compare today in detail. First we have Ali Bow's Turkish Bow. We have the new short Sipahi from Elite Bogen slash Vec. We have the Turkish Bow from Taylor Archery. First of all, length they're all roughly the same. 52 inches knock to knock, 48 inches strong. We need to give some points today, okay? So we talk about our authenticity, so to say, is so how Turkish bows should look like. Let me start with Ali bow. What a Turkish bow should have is from Bash to Kazan, there is usually only a grade, not a complete thick part. So and when you see Ali bow, does here a slightly profiling. That's why this is, in my opinion, the closest to original. We have a nice wood string grid. Back bow. Does it nice, but we have here this uh, reinforcements in action wood or micarta or whatever, which is not design-wise on par. They have here a slight profile, but it's flat here. See, it's not profiled like with Ali bow, so that's why authenticity. In, in, in Elite Bogen, only these foam stoppers, which are completely, in my opinion, a no-go. But everybody has his opinion why he does things. That's why we have to take it as it is. And the last one in the rain is... Um, from Taylor Archery. This one is the, the beefiest one. So this is a lot of beef to it. And again, like with uh, Elite Bogen, no profiling of the Kazan area. So that's why, don't touch the camera stand. That's why, let's say authenticity. Authentical, Ali Bow three points. Elite because of the rubber stamp really you gets one and Taylor Bow overall looks very close to original gets two points. So now let's string them and see how they look strong. So the ease of stringing or the ease of use for beginners. Next point. Taylor archery, easy to string. Elite bogen. Little harder to string because the flex is way longer, makes it look prettier, but for beginners, not that good. And let's see, Alibo, whoops, yep, yeah relatively easy. It's a little more bending or twisting like tailor bow. So that's why where's my pen? Beginners or ease of ease stringing. Let's say stringing. Stringing, Ali bow gets two points, elite bow gets one point, tailor bow gets three points. Easiest to string. So. And overall, the shape overall they look all roughly similar. When you see the sears point way more forward from Alibo compared to Elite Bogen. Or and this one is roughly the same angle as Elite Bogen. So you see the three like this, the three sears. My opinion. There, there. 
overall best look is because of the higher brace height, the Elite Bogen. This looks for me because he has way more bend or bends way earlier than these two. They bend later and a bit more heavy, as you see. That's why for overall design, I would give design. Three point elite and two and two because they are similar for Taylor and Alibo. So let, when you see it from a reenactor's perspective, of course you can get Alibo in in natural wood colors too. But when it's really up to reenactment and you want to show the era of the Ottomans, I would definitely always go with the tail level. This looks the most reenactish, comparable, adaptable. Reenact. Taylor 3. Elite 2. Alibo 1. So this is this. But handle design. The biggest difference of these three, Alibo's handle is wrapped in leather and Alibo is the only one who has here a protection for the handle in ray skin. The other two don't have that. So when you shoot here a few arrows, you will always see scratches on your bow, scratches on your bow. You will not see them on Alibo's bow because of the protection and the leather wrap. This is beneficial for Alibo. The handle by itself, small and narrow, gives a good contact. Elite is small too, but a little bulgy. Goes, has this drop shape design back and front. Is very nice, but still small. So even for small hands. When you have bigger hands, like moi. Big and bulgy, it's quite beefy. For the tailor bow you really need to hold the bow properly. Then it gives you a perfect control. Elite. I can't hold the ball like this because the handle is too small, so I need to hold it more upwards. And I don't have this feeling as good as I would have with Taylor Bow. And Ali Bow, straightforward, doesn't matter, you know where you have to hold the bow. It's the, from the pronounced handle, Ali Bow is, even if it's, there's a protection on it, it's, I don't know. Doesn't feel as well. Elite Bogen is for me a little too small. It's better than Alibo, but for me a tiny bit too small. It's 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 a bit too roundish. So it's it's. But this meets my personal comparison. You don't have to share my opinion with. This one is quite big from Taylor Archery, but here, when you hold it nice, you know, with this pinky finger really easy to, to Katra. So I think performance wise with Katra this one might be the best. So handle design. I give Alibo 2 because of the protection. Elite Bogen 2 and Taylor gets 3. Draw length. And there you have the main difference of the bow. Safe draw length of Alibo. I marked the arrows. Safe draw length of Alibo is 29 inches, is the green mark. So, when the green comes you to the front, this is the safe draw length of Alibo, 29 inches. Taylorbo safe draw 30 inches is the next colorful ring on the arrow. But you reach it easy, 
So this one, even if it's the same, they're all 40 pounds. You reach the draw easier, so I think with this one you could go even further. But safe draw 30 inches. Elite Bogen Weg is, how oh, the string is so thin. Shall I do this in the comparison? 31 inches, but here you feel already, oh, it's getting, it's getting tough to 31. For the longest draw, obviously, three points Elite. Two point Sailor, one point Harley. Draw length. The ease of draw when you reach full draw. Let's say the feel of stacking. Alibo 29 inches. It's fine. See? It's okay. Ease of draw with Elite. Oh, there is really. But of course, you saw maybe the video of this bow. You can draw this bow 39 inches and it doesn't break. But it feels already, it, it's the draw curve, most probably goes almost horizontal upwards. Taylor Archery, 30 inches. Goes easy back and see, even 31 inch. There is not that feeling of stacking. So this one is for me, for the ease of draw in the recommended draw length, the best one. So, what? Draw ease or draw ease, yes. You know what I mean. So there we have one point for Elite because it really feels a little like stacking. Two points for Ali, three points for Taylor. 320 grain, very lightweight arrows for vibration and hand shock. And we shoot Mediterranean 28 inches. Not a lot of vibration. I hold the bow stiff, so no cutter or nothing. I hold the bow stiff to feel the vibration. Feels okay. Well, let's compare it. That's why it's a comparison. Elite. Same arrows, 320 grain. Oh, the string is too thin. I shot the tennis ball off. So back, Elite Bogen in 31 inch draw with the same arrow. Oops, not a rubber bit more. Nothing, only the slight vibration of the string which you have with every bow. Feels good. Taylor and his preferred, in his recommended safe draw length of 30 inches. Yeah, still the vibration is here. Better to feel, so. Vibration in Mediterranean release and in thumb release. Again, two, two, one. Let's shoot heavier arrows. Just to see what a 500, 30 grain would do. Fine. Very fine. Yeah, still the most vibration is in the tailor bow. But overall, all very close. But I did reviews of each bow, so you still can check this one. I don't do now a lot. So this is Ali bow. Quickly, fast shooting. How I want to shoot, how I like to shoot. And then we see accuracy. Oh. Feels good, it's a really wonderful bow to shoot. A little bogan. A little annoying that the string is too thin that they knocks or don't knock. So for this bow, 
you should have a bit experience. It's not that forgiving as Aligo, but it's an amazing bow when you know what to do. Taylor, archery. With this bow I feel I have the best control. There I feel I have the best control and I, in my opinion this is the most forgiving bow. So let's say a beginner's bow. Next rating for beginners. Beginner. Ali bow 2. Elite 1. Taylor 3. For most people, always most important the speed test. So we test now first Alibo in his safe draw length of 29 inches. So I draw 29 inches and I shoot always the 420 grain arrow. Okay. 50.7. Up. Oh. 37. 51.6 53.8 So 50, 51, 53.8 Let's sum it up as roughly 52 meters per second, okay? I can live with that. Where is there this? It's 54.7 54.8, most accurate. One more time, Elite Bogen. 54.3, so. Elite Bogen 54, 55 meters, let's give it 54.5. Tailable. Speed test, 30 inches. 49.8. Forty-nine point seven. So let's give it because we are kind people. Fifty meters. Okay. And we have speed. Let's say Fifty meters per second. Then it's clear. Speed test winner is Elite Bogen. Three points. Two points for Ali. One point for Taylor Archery. And now we need to talk about the price. Price of Alibo, $300 including shipping is 255 euros. €255 Euros, including shipping. Evec Elite Bogen is 349 plus shipping. International shipping I guess will be roughly 30 euros, so you are at 379, we rounded up 380 euros. 80 and the Taylor Archery bow will be roughly 250 260 euros, same as Ali bow. So we take now the same price as Ali bow 255. So then we have here one point and two and two. Let's sum it up. All bows are amazing. But when you compare all my useless points here, which are for me quite of interest depending on how and, and, and where you want to use your bow, you end up Ali bow with 23 points, you end up Elite Bogen Rack with 22, and you end up with Taylor Archery 25 pound. So, hmm, my summary of this. Alibo is nice even for beginners, it's easy to string, it performs nice, it has a nice small handle, so even for smaller ones, for small hands, for female, nice to do, but the optical appearance, I like it a lot, but it's not as traditional as um, in regards reenactment stuff, reenactish is more when you see even the flowery decoration and stuff like this. Taylor Archery is the way more reenactish one, but as a design-wise, 
the, the slightly profile in the Kazan here in this. Nice. I think no Turkish bow ever had a leather wrapped handle. In ancient times they even, even had a, a, a wax, waxed cloth to hold it here that they don't get their sweat of the hand to the bow to protect the bow and even as a protection for the fingers. They held here a piece of cloth in their hand. So this is not as original. This one is overall Elite Bogen is a really nice bow, but a little more pricey than the others. I mean, it's more than 100 euros more that you can shoot this one. Performance wise, of course, it's the best one. So it's, it shoots the fastest. Vibration, hand shock, Ali bow and VEC are similar. VEC is, or Elite Bogen, sorry, is a tendency a slight bit better. There you see the experience in, in this Ottoman Sipahi bows from, from VEC, Elite Bogen, really nice. You only have this slightly string vibration, but you can, yeah, compared to Ali bow, nice one too. But you hear it already, it sounds a little stiffer. And of course with Taylor, there you hear the complete, it's like a guitar body. You hear already the vibrance of, of the limb. So there you have the shake and you can even really feel it. So, But I think in my opinion, if Taylor Archery, when you watch it, try to get the sears a little smaller, more light, but you can cut out on the back here a bit and you can make them a bit more narrow. They don't have to be that, that thick. Even here, everything is a little bit beefy. Look, this is a 40 pound boat too. And how fragile the tip section is. And there, Alibos really try to reduce weight as good as possible. And when you see then the chunky one, then of course this chunk causes trouble. So you could overcome that. I think in an upgrade version, this bow will even get more points because there is room for improvement. There, when you see a 40 pound bow with a small sear like this, and it works too, so there of course less vibration because no weight. A lot of weight, more vibration. So Taylor Archery, we can improve that. Then this is, it's already, in my opinion, the overall winner when you see the little more average and, and take everything in, into consideration but they're all close together. So with every bow, you make a good decision. At the end, it comes back to what is your preferred draw length when 29 is enough and you're on a slight budget. Alibo does the job perfect. You can have this in clear. Now they have different funky colors, blue and pink and red and whatever, and black of course. I need to ask if they can make them white. I would like to have this one in white. If you draw, preferred draw length is 30 inches and you're on a budget, go for this one. Really nice bow. And I think version Mark II will be then the perfect bow. For some, maybe the handle is too big. But when you hold it here, see this is, I have my hand here and it's perfect. Perfect for me. Elite bogen again. I need to hold it here, otherwise I'm already on the bow. It's still okay, but it's for my hand size already the limit. An Ali bow, it's quite a huge handle, so this fits every every chunky beefy fingers can wrap the, the can wrap around there, so it's not a big deal. So and when you go for 31 inches or when you want to have at least 31 inches in the most compact bow design right now, laminated bow wise, I, of course I don't know other bow brands, Elite Bogen, but of course there you invest in the knowledge, costs a little, 349 plus shipping, and I guess shipping will be 20, 30 euros, so roughly like this, then you have an idea how much it is. Available again in a lot of different color variations. This is, in my opinion, not the most beautiful. I like to have it more in B colors that the limb has a slightly different color than the riser and, and the sear. So, but this is all in one color. When you like it, it's fine. When not, it's 
good tool. The only thing what I think for a bow in this price range, simply put here these, these foam stoppers on it. I don't know. So, but this is, as I said, it's their politics, not mine. You can build a less expensive bow with a proper string bridge, and even in the same price as Taylor Archery, you can even create a really nice string bridge in three different woods. So it's, it's not a big deal. Maybe he needs this kind of dampening, but a handshake with this one is the same, so I don't think so. This would be the improvement I would like to see for Elite Bogen, but not up to me, it's up to them. They built the bows and we have to take them as they are. I don't know how or if they listen to uh, users. I'm sure Taylor Archery will. And please think about your seers. And then this is a perfect bow. And then we make this the Mortar Archery Edition. <laughs> So, I hope that that was kind of helpful. You can check all the, in the description, I put the links to each of this bow's uh, review, individual review. That was only for me, which points matter for me. And then I gave only, of course, you could do it more scientific and, you know, blah. This for me only to give you a direction, but at the end, it really comes down to what draw length and what budget you have. All bows are nice. Thank you for watching.